Hello friends, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos. Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you the difference between fetch all, fetch one and fetch many methods. If you don't know about these, then uh, let me tell you, these are the methods to get data from DB cursor. Now let's start. So to show you, I am going to use uh, Postgres as my DB server and for that I am going to create a Python script and naming it as fetch methods and to have all the adapters of Postgres I need to import one module and the name is psychopg2 here it is then install it and uh, I'm using IDE as a uh, IDE that uh, community addition of uh, PyCharm and Python version is two uh, sorry 3.6 so it is installed hit OK successfully installed and now I can import psycho PG now we need credentials of my DB then server is localhost then port sorry not post it is port 5 sorry uh, numlog is disabled 5432 this is the default port then user equals to postgres then password is root then database name is also postgres now we need connection so i'm going to create this main and then connection equals to sorry psychopg dot connect then host will be server then port will be port then user will be user then password will be password and then database name will be database name let me just run it and let's see do we have any error or not no still we should use try so try and then accept and exception as e then uh, print that exception sorry not r it's e yeah so yeah so it's done now uh, we need uh, cursor so cursor equals to connection dot cursor now we can execute the query so cursor dot execute and query will be uh, select star from the schema name then table name create master one of the table which I have in my DB and then we can execute it now the thing is comes up so uh, cursor sorry cursor dot fetch all first we are going to use it so fatch fetch all and this will return a list of tuple now we can have by using the for loop row in rows and then print the row so let me just run it and i'll show you so run it so we are getting four rows from table create master let me just show you in my db here so if we run this command select star 
we are using these four rows so what fetch all is doing so actually the fetch all is the most common uh, method which we are using actually we don't know the actual meaning or the thing where we can use we should use uh, fetch all fetch many and fetch one so this is the first thing which we can have in our db server uh, coding so uh, what is fetch all is doing here it is extracting all the rows at once from the cursor or db cursor whether we have four rows 10000 1 million rows so it will extract all the rows at once but it will block or it will have the large amount of space of your server also so we can't use this with the large data set so now we will use fetch one now let's see what we will have with the fetch one i'm running it okay so it is giving achilles 18 email id and a and what it is so this is the only first row of our data set so fetch one what it is doing it is extracting the first row of the data set as it is explaining from name fetch one so but why we, we but why we are using fetch one where we need to use fetch one so in that case where we are uh, we need to do some manipulation with each and every row we need to use fetch one only so how we can have all the rows so to get that we need to some we need to do some updates in our code so i am using while loop as endless now uh, i need to get this line of code in while loop like this and if we have rows then it will print the rows and else sorry else loop will be break now this loop will run four times or five times actually so let me just show you that also and why it will run five times so let me just count zero then count plus sorry plus equals to one and then print count so let's run it so like this so as you can see we have four rows but it is running five times because fifth times it it will uh, because fifth because fifth time the fetch one will not having any rows so it will come to else and it will break down from the loop so this is a thing which we are using so this is the thing which we are doing with fetch one now we are going to use fetch many so to uh, implement fetch many is also the same thing which we are doing with the fetch one so now the difference is just we need to give a size of extracting the rows from db cursor so like uh, i have four rows only so i am going to give batch size of two now this fetch many will fetch the rows from the data by the list of tuples of two so i have four rows then this loop will run three times first two times it will have the rows but third time it will break 
let me just run and show you yes first second and third time we have no rows if i'll give it three then again it will run by uh, two times or oh, sorry uh, sorry uh, how many times yeah three times of course so first time it will have three tuples and then it will have only one and then third time it will break down if i'll give four then only two times because at once it will have all the four rows because we don't have much more rows greater than four and if i'll give one batch size then it will have four uh, rows one by one and then we have uh, the and then it will break now where we need to use fetch many so in case like uh, we have 10000 rows right and we need to uh, create two csv files of 5000 or three files of uh, 3000 3000 and 3000 something so we will give the batch size of 5000 let's see uh, So we will give uh, 5000 of batch size, let's say, then what fetch many will do, it will fetch first 5 rows, oh sorry, 5000 rows and you can create CSV file from that. Then again this loop will run and again fetch the 5000 rows and then you can create the CSV file. The second thing, fetch many is very useful or you must use fetch many in case of large data sets because if we have uh, the, the 10,000 rows, then what will happen? Uh, it will block or took so much time to fetch the uh, 10,000 rows from DB server instead of fetching the 5,000 rows because 5,000 rows will take lesser time to fetch the 10,000 rows. So in these scenarios, you should use fetch many. So friends, I hope now you guys have better idea. Okay, so one thing, uh, let me just uh, close this video uh, with a question. So can we execute multiple queries on same cursor object? So if you know or you don't know, you just uh, you can just comment uh, below in the uh, comment section and i'll revert back you with your queries or any doubt with uh, related to these uh, db functions i'll definitely try to revert you asap so uh, if you really like this video if yes please hit the like button and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon thank you for watching jai hind